going to be the results of the poll that you just voted on because it takes some time and you need a full week of voting and we haven't done that yet. Like the very first episode of Funny Side Up ever, my friend Susie was here. She's always a really great help and she's just one of my besties for life. Here comes the fun part nobody even knows yet, except for me. Let me just tell you part of it. Susie's birthday is this Friday. Oh, there she goes. Hey, Sus, come on in. Doesn't she look great? She <laughs> just got off of work. I told Susie that we would be making something for dinner. Well, I actually lied because I'm actually making Susie a dessert for her birthday. Ah! And it's a clafouti which is something that she's really wanted me to make. Clafouti is a custard-like baked French dessert. It comes from the verb clafir, which means to fill up. You have a dish, like so, and you put fruit on the bottom and then you fill it with a batter. Traditionally, it's made with cherries, but since those are out of season, there are many other stone fruits. You could use plums, nectarines, apricots, and maybe some other stuff. So let's just get started. The first thing we're going to do is prepare the plums. Here we got some red plums. Just wash these, cut it in half, and then take out the pit. And sometimes it's hard to take out the pit, so we're just going to try. Oh. I'm going to cut and then maybe use a little spoon and scoop it out. Um, yeah, yeah. I like to do little slivers because then you can really layer it in the pan. So this is about two plums right here. Well, that's exactly what it is. Now you're going to want to heat your oven to 425. Preheat it, you know. Butter and sugar a dish. It's helpful if you have something like a brush and you can brush the butter on. Then you can really get to the crevices. I've got about a tablespoon of butter. But this is pretty fun to do. I feel like I'm a painter. You know, there's always that part of you that wanted to be a painter. You're going to take about a tablespoon of sugar and just put it in the pan and just sure to shake it around and shake it on all the sides. Yeah, we need more sugar. Okay, so this is good to go. <laughs> Can you set it to the side, Suze? Oh, bring it back. And I'm going to start arranging the fruit from the outside in this sort of decorative pattern. I'm just going to start to make a little flower in the center because we can. Don't go overboard. Susie's going to carefully set this to the side. Oh, one more. I just wanted to put a little sugar on top so they would macerate a bit. I've been You're going to want to get a whisk with a bowl. Wait, a bowl with a whisk in it. And we're going to make a batter. We're going to start off by taking two eggs and we'll break them into the bowl. I'm just going to beat the eggs. So now I'm going to add about three quarters of a cup or so of sugar. And I've actually only got this whole cane sugar left, so hopefully it'll taste great. One, two, three. Now whisk this in. Now you're just going to need a cup of flour. And you're going to whisk it in. Get yourself a liquid measuring cup, pour in about a cup of milk with a pinch of salt, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, I'm going to use a little bit of almond extract. So now I'll whisk this all together and it might be difficult at first, but it'll all come together, I promise you that. So there you have it. The last and final step is pouring the batter over it. Coffee tea all ready to go in the oven and that's what I'm going to do. Put that in there for 30 minutes. So we'll see you then. Come on boy, see you Oh, hey everybody. I'll write these. My sunglasses, which are usually these, broke the other day, and so I thought that I could just wear these as glasses. The clafouti has about five more minutes, but we're going to check it 
with a knife, insert it in the middle. If it comes out clean, then it's already done. I'm just going to give it like two more minutes and I think it's good because like this isn't totally clean. Can you see it? Yeah, I'm going to take it out now. So there it is and <laughs> we're going to eat it in a little bit. We're going to dust it with some powdered sugar. We'll do that in a little bit. See you then. So you've got your bowl and your whisk in the freezer so that it's really, really cold. We're going to guesstimate about a cup of heavy cream. I'm going to start whisking it. Oh well. It's probably going to take like 10 minutes. Interesting. It's good. It is good. Oh, we forgot to put the powdered sugar on top. Mmm. Oh. Why not, right? Yep. This is a cloth of tea. It's really easy to whip up, and I recommend you make it. I recommend you eat it. <laughs> Catch you later, guys.